starting Monday, indoor sports facilities and ice rinks must close for a week in Rhode Island. That was one of the new restrictions Governor Gina Raimondo announced on Friday in an effort to curb the spread of COVID-19. Another one was restricting spectators from youth sporting events so that teams could finish out their season safely. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh takes us inside an indoor sporting facility where the last of the games were played today before the temporary shutdown goes into effect tomorrow. The first weekend of November would typically be very busy here. All of these fields would be busy with competitors, some 400 teams starting their winter season indoors. But this week ahead, the fields are just like this, empty as indoor facilities for youth sports have to stay closed. I was prepared for it. Looking at recent shutdowns and restrictions in neighboring states, Wide World of Indoor Sports owner Dan Fawcett wasn't surprised by Governor Raimondo's announcement Friday. Effective Monday, we will be closing all ice rinks and indoor sports facilities for one week. But he said his two facilities in North Smithfield and North Kingstown, as well as two ice rinks, have been compliant and safe since they were able to reopen on June 6th, following a two and a half month mandatory closure that forced him to furlough all staff. We want to stay open because we're following protocols. Our participants are following the protocols and to date from June through the end of October, we have not become spread centers. He said they've had one COVID case to date. Allegiance field hockey owner Leslie Jones rents out the fields. She said that one case hasn't spread to others on her teams that she knows of yet, and the safety guidelines that our club has enforced are working. Every player has to be in a mask, so once they start, to the end, they are in the mask the whole time. Fawcett requires everyone to enter separate doors that lead to only their specific field. There's hand sanitizer and mandatory sign-ins for contact tracing. But he said according to the state, clubs that rent from him can make their own decision on if they want to use masks or not. He suspects that type of guidance will be one of the things changing when facilities reopen in a week. Right after our interview, the owner actually went right on a Zoom call with the state to talk about the guidelines they have in place to make sure everyone stays safe here and what they could possibly do across the state to make it safer in the future and also make sure that this really is a temporary closure and they can open up as soon as possible again. In North Smithfield, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.